Sweet Lou is a sire who is kicking goals in both hemispheres. He is consistently near the top of the sire's leaderboards in all ages. His fillies are talented and his colts and geldings are making their marks and always featuring in the major juvenile races. But his biggest and best crops are to come in the next two seasons. Trainers and drivers still find them great to work with. Well, Sweet Lou, I do actually. I like Sweet Lou's. Uh, my Louis just gone across to Australia to race for us because um, for Robin because we feel as though he's a real speed horse and over the mile racing that it will really suit him. But at the 100 metres it's a one horse race, mighty Louis shot away. I went back to the sales and bought the full sister this year and it broke in beautifully as well so really pleased about that. And also bought another one from Dave Kennedy's draft and that's a little crack it, Bro broken, it was a great looking horse, broken beautifully as well and how he's wrapped with her, said he's a real natural two-year-old. So yeah, I'm excited by them. Uh, I've had a very little script for Abuzio. He's an eight-word horse, so we've got a lot of talent. He's actually going up to race in Canada now. But this has been a very, very good win from Fabrizio. Kept them honest up front, and he's outstayed them. Fabrizio, too good. And I've had a very good horse called Oliver Chigolo. He's done a very good job here in NZ. He won three of his first four starts, and he's up in the US now. He's run a fast time, and then I've got another horse that's really come on the scene called uh, Sugar Me. He looks like uh, he's going to be a pretty special horse. Kind of wonderful, can't quite get there. Sugar Me, he's a goodie. So, um, in favour of that, why do I like them? Uh, they seem to have a very good attitude, they're very good gated, so uh, there are two main factors of when you want to train favours, and I'll be lucky to see them. Kind of what to do with Sweet Lou's progeny this year, and they're really making their presence felt on the racetrack. A couple of those being my ultimate Lizzie and my ultimate Baxter. They're both winners on debut. They've just got great speed and strength and awesome attitudes. They really want to do it. But it's all our ultimate Lizzie. The money was right. Comes on here. Very good performance on debut. They've been great to work with right along from the educationals right through to the race debuts. Hey everybody back home. I'm Dexter Dunn. I've been lucky enough to have the privilege of driving some great horses in both hemispheres. I've driven a lot of sweet loos over here. They're racy types that get up and go early. A lot of them are good gated. As they race for home, and no losing clings to the lead. And no losing will go the distance to win in 149 and 2. You know, you'll see a lot of sweet loos, um, you know, qualifying or racing as early two year olds and, uh, you know, producing some good times. He is crossing well with a range of broodmare sires, but most importantly, with Better's Delight mares. Other strong crosses standing out so far are with Christian Cullen, Rock and Roll Hanover, and Art Major mares. He is highly fertile and available via fresh chilled semen across Australasia. He stands for the full fee of 7,500 plus GST and 6,000 plus GST when a preferred semen base is used.